talk about an example of symbiosis called mutualism. Mutualism happens when an animal or an organism benefits from another organism because they both depend on each other for its existence. A very good example of mutualism could be bees and flowers. Bees benefit from flowers because they take pollen and nectar from them and then they take it to their hives. By They uh, take it in some part of their stomach and after adding enzymes afterward the, the digestive uh, their digestive reactions they regurgitate it or they vomit it and then they make it as honey and store it in their hives in their combs flowers benefit from bees because when the bee goes to the flower and the pot they extract the pollen it clings to their fuzzy bodies and then when it's going from plant to plant or flower to flower the pollen starts to go off their bodies and start to pollinate or fertilize the plant and this makes the plant to be fertile obviously and it starts to create its own food and its own minerals and vitamins bees also take vitamins and minerals from the nectar and, bee and pollen they take from the flowers so right now we're going to see an example of a bee pollinating the flower You can see how it's sort of digging deep. You can see how it's pollinating. It's taking the pollen and nectar from the flower. The nectar is a source of energy. Bees gradually switch from eating other insects to flowers because they take it as their source of food. As bees travel from one blossom to, to another, as you're going to see right now, they take the pollen to their fuzzy bodies and it, it transfers to the other flowers and the other flowers benefit from this because they, uh, this makes them fertile start producing their own fruits. There are tons of fruit crops that rely on, their, on the honey bees because of its role in pollination like almonds and avocados and apples and other types of plants. Many animals and insects that spread pollen have disappeared from the land because it has been destroyed. But the honeybee has taken over as the main pollinator of, of these flowers. Scientists believe that over the years bees have helped create the wild variety of flowers that exist today by spreading the pollen. If bees began to disappear, we would rely more on other insects and mammals to spread of the pollen of flowers. The pollination process of the flowers would begin to slow down and eventually some species of wildflowers would begin to become extinct. The flowers would not only be the ones to suffer from this, many animals would also suffer because there wouldn't, there wouldn't be any flowers for them to eat, especially herbivores. And also carnivores would suffer from this because if there weren't any herb herbivores, then they wouldn't have anything to eat. So that's why bees are a very good example of mutualism. And they're very important for our ecosystem.